Alright, and welcome to another episode of uh, How To. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, how to store your X Wing miniatures. Um, that's a big thing with a lot of people. They're like, hey, I have all these uh, really cool ships, but how do I store them all? And there's a bunch of ways to do it, but um, I'm going to go over a couple of the ways. Uh, when I started out, I bought this giant, or what seemed to be at the time giant, um, just kind of Tupperware-ish case, not really Tupperware, but just for the toys, and uh, I just kind of laid them all down in that box, but uh, eventually got full, and uh, I needed more space, and it didn't really house the other little bits of the game. Um, at the time, I was keeping all of the extra miniatures, uh, mixture pieces, the little cardboard pieces in uh, the original game box from the starter kit. But as you'll find eventually, uh, after time that doesn't fit anymore either. So uh, then I went to something more like this. Um, to store uh, a bunch of my uh, other accessories. And uh, something that I could take on a, you know, that was travel worthy and I could take to other places for tournaments or if I was playing at someone else's house. And uh, any tackle box will really do, uh, it's a pretty common thing. Um, I was going to do a small segment of this video first just going over that. So uh, I'm going to go over the many compartments that this thing has. Alright, starting out in the top we have a nifty little container here, and uh, what I like to use the top segment for is uh, extra little baggies over here for cards, um, uh, asteroids, debris, the large segments. And then over here, I keep the three pieces that I use uh, for tournaments. If you do tournaments, you notice uh, there's typically three bits of debris right now. Uh, I like playing with the smallest three asteroids, just the last build I used in the tournament. That's what I used, so I put it in the smaller segment. And uh, I also keep over here uh, directions to different tournament locations that I frequent. So, just kind of an easy thing. I already know I, ha I have everything packed. And in case I forgot how to get there, or the road, boom, got a little quick reference there. So, this thing that just snaps in there pretty easily. Uh, next up, main compartment. You can open that up. You can get a little closer. And uh, in here, in the first segment, it's kind of a shallower bit. I have uh, my ships and my... <clears throat> excuse me. I have uh, ships, dials, and uh, um, some of the... Uh, large ship bases uh, because in the back over there I keep uh, some of my large ships that I have. Um, also in the front I have these things which are cards and, and sleeves where I slide in all of the uh, build options that I want. Uh, so I have them kind of arranged together like I have a three X-Wing build which you'll see in a later in a later video. Three X wings there in the front, and then uh, next up, I think I have the uh, Decivator build with the Emperor up next. And see, if you remember the bombers that go with them. I have them just placed in order there, so I can just quickly slide the reference cards out. Uh, so all those cards there are tournament build options that I uh, consider, and uh, just kind of put them in order. And the reason why, uh, and then see I have some build options here in there. And because uh, I think I have, I have, so I have a tie advanced build, an X-Wing build, and a bomber build in there. So that's why I see those ships there. And the staging area, if, if you will. In the back of this, uh, I actually have every large ship that I own, which is every large ship that they make. And uh, I know it's dark, hard to see, but 
uh, the box goes really far back there and uh, they all actually lay pretty nice I haven't had any problems with any breaking uh, the decimators back there from the decimator bomber build and uh, actually have um, both sets of rules from both starter kits the original starter and then the uh, Force Awakens starter also I have the uh, all my bomb tokens the large bomb tokens in there um, you'll see where the smaller ones are in a moment and then uh, here's the decimator finished up uh, magnetized from our my previous video and you just slide them nice in there and back there is also all the range rulers and etc um, nice little handy bag for the range rulers so oh and uh, those card sleeves I used are uh, Fantasy Flight Games card sleeves I get a lot of these at uh, tournaments uh, some places if you pre-register and uh, prepay you get these for free um, you get a thing of 50 for free so I've played a lot so I have somewhere around 200 card sleeves <laughs> or more I don't know I might be doing some promotions where I give those away on the channel to subscribers but uh anyway moving on uh, that's pretty much the inside of that the front compartment has several segments the organizers and the lower organizer have uh, the smaller bomb tokens uh, extra target locks uh, critical damage tokens and um, number tokens on the other side we have uh, our more useful tokens we use more often um, that's your focuses, your vades, your target locks, your shields stress uh, ordnance um, and uh, uh, not the fire token in there. I think there's also um, cloak and uh, ion tokens. So that's my, you know, in a tournament I can just pull this out quickly. And then on the front, handy little thing here. This checks for uh, it's a nice laser level. Shines uh a sideways beam. What this checks for is uh, you can use it to check to see if a ship is in range. Um, this one's only five bucks. Four, there's like four or something at uh, Harbor Freight. Pretty nice thing to pick up. Also in there, dice bag. And it has plenty of space for the different damage decks. And moving on to how do I organize the rest of my things, the uh, all the upgrade cards that come in the game, because it really gets to be a lot. I use one of these tackle box adapters. And I like to uh, use these so I can organize them and and segment. I uh, have to. Uh, the first thing up there in the top left. Uh, there's it's all the different things, a bunch of the scum things underneath that new uh, technology thing. And then it goes to Elite, you know, the titles, the mods, etc. I just kind of stack them all in there. And uh, then I group them in there based on, you know, duplicates I have. They're all stacked together. So that way it's really easy. If I'm looking to build, make a build and I have a mod slot, I just go for, okay, open this up, grab the mod, mod cards, and go through or oh I want to put a missile on there or a torpedo just grab the missile or torpedo things uh, it's kinda arranged you know with ordnance on the bottom row and uh, other upgrades on the top you know with the exception of the astromech but uh... yeah I really like this for how I store my upgrade cards and uh... 
The only thing is I have a lot of elite talent cards, so that's filling up quickly. But other than that, uh, this will be a great storage option for the far future. I'm in no danger of that filling up. Moving on to how I store cards for individual ships. I have a nice little bag here. It's uh, just kind of a front zip bag. And I keep I keep every everything in a, its original bag that it comes in for different ships. I have a bag for each ship. So this is the uh, get the focus going. So this is the headhunter bag. It has all my headhunter dials and cards, pilot cards, and the little uh, base. So like this one's the the Hawk 290. It has the pilot cards, movement dial, and uh, little square, you know, cardboard things for the base. And uh, I like this organization method. So I just flip through, I'm looking for a ship, I just move through, okay, you know, that's this ship, that's this ship. I can just flip through and find the ship I want, you know, the class ship, pull out a bag, and uh, get the pilot and dials. But uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. And then uh, for other extraneous things that don't really fit into these categories, then I use the original boxes from the starter kits. And uh, as for the epic play ships, uh, since they're pretty cinematic anyway, I just put them up on a shelf and uh, enjoy them. Um, they gather dust, but uh, if you don't mind dusting them, they're you know they're stored pretty well, just sitting up on a shelf. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much the extent of my storage options the uh, I mean I still obviously use um, that box for many of my ships uh, to be honest though I have so many ships that I can't store them all in there I have uh, right now a bunch displayed about as many that are in that box displayed elsewhere but uh, and without them uh, in there, some in display, and some in my tackle box. Uh, I wouldn't have enough room, so to be honest, I'm running out of space as well. And uh, we'll have to find alternative methods. But as for now, if uh, you're a completionist in this stage of the game, and you still have some duplicates, if you copy my method, you should be good for now. But, uh, I mean, some additional storage may be required. Anyway, um, if you had any questions on how I store my build or uh, where I got many of my things, I actually uh, got the tackle box at Walmart and the box you see before you at uh, Goodwill actually for a dollar. So uh, not that expensive. Uh, the tackle box was probably fifteen dollars, and uh, yeah, not a not a big deal. So uh, there's a lot of really cheap storage options out there. Um, now the bag was a promotional item too, so for $16 I stored all of my X-Wing things. So uh, yeah, go out there and be creative. There's a bunch of ways that are probably better than mine, but uh, this is just the way I happen to set mine up. Anyway, um, go ahead and like and comment and subscribe. And let me know how you store your items. It's always nice to see other people's opinions and uh, ways that they they do things. So uh, I really do. Uh, I really would like to see uh, what do you guys do. So go ahead and share your ideas. Thanks for watching.